Good morning, Rabbi Isai. Good morning, Rabbi Good morning, Good morning, Rabbi Isai. Good morning, Good morning, Rabbi Good morning, Rabbi Special for Miami. It is Erev Shabbos. Thank you for coming out. Right before Shabbos, Tari doesn't stop, the Daf doesn't stop. Today's share special sponsor, Peretz Chaim Levin, sponsoring in honor of my son Aaron and the Kiddush he's making the Shabbos. Sophia Rus. Sophia Rose. Not exactly sure how they're going to call her. I know it's not Rus. That part not. Something with the Sophie. Sophie. Bezer Hashem. So I just want to read one email because it is Erev Shabbos. Let me start by saying that I didn't grow up in a Frum household and that my ignorance is my biggest busha, which I'm working hard to correct. So first of all, you do your thing. Forget the busha. Forget what other people are going to think. Just do your thing. I've only been, there was a guy here, what, two days ago? And he had a hat on and said, Val Truva. I'm like, what's that? He was, I want people to know I'm a Val Truva. <laughs> Chip on the shoulder. Nobody has to know you're Val Truva. Those who need to know, they'll figure it out. Those, 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 what's the point? Okay. I've only been doing the daf since Baba Kama, third night of Hanukkah, story for another day. I first listened to a rabbi give a really dry, monotone cheer. After that, I found your share on YouTube. Thanks to Avi Kamiansky or Eli Kamiansky for pushing you for YouTube. Since then, not only have I not missed a day, but I've also made up, listen to this, made up all of Baba Kama that I missed before I started. I completed the entire Masechus Brachas, and I'm currently in Shabbos daf 112. There's 200 daf additional, so kids at that rate will be finishing Shas six times before we get to the end of Shas ourselves. I work full-time as a computer programmer, and I also have my own small farm, which I tend myself. I always say, this guy is from Marion, Kentucky. <laughs> So, so not, new place, Marion, Kentucky. Billy X wife's family from Kentucky. But not from Marion. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you're right. You also Billy X wife. Huh? Live share there. Yeah, we have to do a live share. After we give it in, uh, what's that place in New York? <clears throat> the guy with the ping pong. He always bugs me. West Hempstead, <laughs> whatever. Okay. I work for the, I spend a minimum of four hours a day, usually more like eight hours with the sheer studying Tyra. Four to eight hours. I find myself constantly wanting to go back to refresh my memory or to dig in deeper. But having decided to get a foundational understanding of one cycle to have a better understanding of concepts reference for future cycles. Tonight, my 14-year-old son was hospitalized. I was, ho- hope- I was hoping that you would also dive for him with your minion, that he should see all that Hashem has created for him and that we will have he will have children of his own one day. Thanks for everything you and the team do. I can't tell you what it means to me. But I will say I'm a 34-year-old man. And at times I've noticed tears in my eyes, coughs. Not saying that I cried or anything. Most likely I was just too focused on the sheer and forgot to blink. Kids, are you saying that he cries once in a while? It's good. Mazel tov to you and your son, Bess. Michal Ben Hanasura, Marion, Kentucky. Our voice, I uh, will go straight to the sponsors. The coil of the week, the last day, Shlomo Rubenstein, in honor of Shmuel Pesach Rubenstein becoming a bar mitzvah, the Mesech is sponsored for the unity of Am Yisrael. Parnas HaChodesh, Lili Nishma, Zachai B'Moshe, Lili Nishma, Zachai B'Sh Yosef. Parnas HaChodesh, Aaron Freeman, should be a schus to rebelli. Continue to see Yadish Shemayin teaching Torah to Kala Yisrael. Parnas HaYorim, Lili Nishma, Sitzchok, Mayor Ben Gershon, Zachron of the on the seventh yard side, and sponsored by Peretz Chaim Levin, in honor of Aaron and his wife, and the Kiddush, the hour of the month, anonymous for the schus, for an easy childbirth, for his daughter and a healthy baby. And also, MDY wishes a huge mazel tov. You're not going to believe this. Yisrael Shalitsky is making a chasana right now as we speak. The famous Yisrael Shalitsky, a Friday Friday afternoon. Friday wow. afternoon chupa, the, the, the actual suit and everything is Matzah Shabbos. Very interesting. So, tremendous mazel tov, Rabbi Yisrael. And once again, I want to remind the Oilam about onesium.com that the Klai Yisrael is getting together to learn all of Torah. You could get, you could pick up a parak in Tanakh, a parak in Mishnayis, a daf. We're daf people, so let's grab some daf in the COVID Super Bowl Sunday to counteract all the bittles man that everybody's doing, all that waste of time. Chabadap, maybe I was suggesting they should do it at halftime, but they said maybe it's not enough time. Okay, whatever. Chapa, daf, and go. The boys are holding like 14, 15 lines from the bottom of 
daf tzadik tes omid beis. It's a shorter daf today. It's erev Shabbos. It works out great. Yesterday we were talking about if a professional messes up. You bring your car into a mechanic and he messes up your car. You give an animal to a professional shaykhet and he messes up the animal. He makes it an available. We're actually going to see right now how you can mess up an animal when we get to Chulun. It's going to be a lot more hands-on. This is just a, a basic overview. So if a person is a professional, he's chayiv, Shmuel says. So now, take a look at this for a second. So here you have an animal. Uh, okay, we skipped that by mistake. The animal has two simonim, a kana and a veshet. The trachea and the esophagus. The trachea is the white one that has, it looks like a bunch of rings attached together. Believe it or not, the halacha says, this is halacha, that when the shaykhet shechs, he must make sure that the knife goes through one ring and one ring only. If the knife veers to the right or to the left and goes into another one of these rings, the animal is treif. Now, what if he cut through 51%? He has a roiv. He cut through the two, both. The con and the vesh that he got, 51%. It's kosher, right? And after he did 51%, he makes a left turn and hits another ring. Kosher or treif? So if you said it's machlaikis, you'd be right. Chacham say, treif. But wait a minute, it's it's 100% kosher. He did 51%, too bad. If after the 51%, you make a turn and you go into another, you nick another ring, treif. Rabbi Yaisi says, kosher. Okay. This is how it looks. Yoshi did a great job here. You see the rings, tracheal rings. We're not talking about the veshet, the esophagus on the bottom, that's the red one. The shogun has to go through both, okay? So check this out. These are, these represent a ring, two rings. That's how you have to go. You have to go through one ring. This guy goes through one ring, let's say 50, and then he makes a left turn and hits the other ring, okay? So says the Gemara, Ahu, my grumasa. This is called hagrama. When we're learning Kulin, it's hagrama, meaning you, you veered off the ring and you went into another ring. That's hagrama. So they bring to Rav this Shailah and Allah. I gave my animal, my $2,000 cow, I gave it to the professional shaykhat. Turns out the guy doesn't know what he's doing. He messes up the shechita. Now my animal's worth 100 bucks. Most I could get out of it is 100 bucks. I'm going to feed it to the dogs. I'm going to find, try to find the gut that's going to bite off of me. It's worthless. So the Gemara Tarfe. Rav did two things here. He said it's treif. Who says it's treif, Rabbi Yisai? Chachamim. So if it's treif, he should have to pay. No. Upatre, the tabak. He said, but maybe that Allah is like Rabbi Yaisi, That it's actually kosher. So I'm not going to make this shaykhet pay. So the Gemara story, Pogu Bey, Rav Kahana, Ravasi, Bahu Gavra. Rav Kahana and Ravasi bump into this guy. They see a guy crying in the street. <laughs> My animal. I lost $2,000 today. They said, what happened? Oh, the guy did a grama. And Rav said, it's Trafe. Can't eat it. Not only did he say it's Trafe, he can't eat it. He says, I don't get a dime. The shark doesn't owe me anything. So they tell him, Omar, Omru Lei, Ovid Boch, Rav Tarte. Rav messed you up twice. But it, they didn't say messed you up. They said, Rav got you on two things. What does that mean? Got you on two things. It could be two good things and two bad things. So what says, let's figure this out on our own. My tarti. What two things? It seems like at first glance, Rav got the owner twice for the bad. He should have passed in like and Unfortunately, he made a mistake, Rav, and he passed in like Rabban. Perhaps that's what they meant. He got you once on that. Vinami, and the second thing he got you is, It should have been like Rabbanon that the Shaykh is Chayiv, and he said, No, you're Potter. So, time out. 
It doesn't make sense. Rav Kahana and Ravasi, we just spoke about Ravasi yesterday. He was greater than Shmuel, much greater than Shmuel. Talmud of Rav. First of all, it doesn't even make sense that a Talmud of Rav should talk about his own Rebbe and say, oh, Rebbe, my Rebbe didn't know what he's talking about. He made a mistake. He's talking about Rav over here. Rav, the God of Ador, the first Amir that ever lived. He has a Lacha of a Tana. He could argue with Tanaim. Made a mistake. But the bigger problem is, isn't that Rechilos? Isn't that Lashon Hara? If a rabbi makes a mistake, you're not supposed to tell the guy, oh, by the way, I would have said differently. That rabbi doesn't know what he's talking about. That's Lashon Hara. But Tanya, Likishiyeti, Liyoymar, and Mizaki, and Chavir, and Chayim, and more. I mean, more accurate, the word Rechilos. I just say Lashon Hara, use it loosely because that's what people know. You say Rechilos, they don't know what you're talking about. Likishiyeti, Liyoymar, and Mizaki, and Chavir, and Chayim. If you are a Dayan on a Bezdin, it is also for you to come out of the bed and say, hey, by the way, Ruvain, I'm your best friend. And I, you know, you know, I <laughs> I have your interest in mind. And I, I try to get it for you. And I try to get the, the dentary to go your way. But it's those two losers over there. They're the ones that are passing against you. I, I'm on your team. That's all sort to do. What should I do? They, they outnumbered me two against one. That's what the Pasuk says. You're going like a, how do you say Rachel in English? Um, a peddler, thank you. A peddler, and you say over a secret. You shouldn't say what happened behind closed doors in Bezdin. Hmm? Tailbearer. It's not a peddler. A peddler's a salesperson. Yeah, yeah. So it's a salesperson that goes from door to door. So they go from door to door and they, you know, they, they, they see a lot of Lashon Hara. You know what I saw in that guy's house? And this, it's rough. So the, you don't, when you go to the basement, they don't tell you two to one? They just tell you? They give you a psaac. Even if they say two to one. You don't know who. It happens to be the Chavetz Chaim says that if the guy comes to you and says, hey, did you pass it against me? You could say, it wasn't me. You don't, you don't say it's him. I, don't, I think that's what he says. Forget that. Right now, no, they pass in a psak and Shalma Yisrael. This is how it is. Two to one doesn't mean it was me or you. It's three people. I don't know which one it is. You as a dying, you shouldn't be giving out the secrets and saying who passed in against you. So therefore, it's impossible to say that Rav Kahana Ravasi said something negative about Rav. They said a positive. Two positives there. They calmed the guy down. First of all, number one, Rav didn't let you eat something that had a, a suffix of an isra on it. Since this uh, this animal, according to Chachamim, is usher to eat because the knife went off and hit another ring, according to them, it's usher. So it's a suffix of isra. Rav said, Rav, Rav saved you from eating trade. Second of all, the What if the halacha is that the guy doesn't have to pay? So therefore, you take money from the from from the shaykhid, you're stealing from him. So he prevented you from stealing. He prevented you from trade. Yeah. Itmar. Hamar dina l'shulchan even into Rav. So in those days, it was very common to have one of these guys, the the shulchani dude. No. Oh, here we go. Shulchan is a uh, shulchan is a table. So they had a table and they would change money. It was a big thing. He's a pro. He understands money like no one understands money. You go to him with a coin. You say, is, does this have any values? Today, people collect coins. You need professionals that tell you. Valuable, not valuable. The guy from the table tells you it's perfect. So you take his advice and you, you accept the coin. And then you try to use it the next day. And they tell you, no way. We're not taking this. Now, don't forget that Shmuel is the one that says, that when a shaykhet messes up, he's a pro shaykhet, and he messes up, he has to pay for the animal. So it would be that the shulchan, he messes up on the money, he should pay. Over here it says, Uman, potter. He's potter. If he's a head yoyt, meaning a layman, has no clue what he's talking about, and he, he mixes in to places he shouldn't be mixing in. He gives advice where nobody, unsolicited advice, or solicited, but what business does he have to tell people, oh, this coin is a good coin? By you mixing in, in 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 a profession that you're not good at, somebody trying to be a lawyer when he's not a lawyer, he gets penalized. Don't 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 give advice when you're not a professional. If you're a professional, then this is this is what you do for a living. The Gemara says a little bit maybe counterintuitive than what we know. He's a professional, so he's protected by the law. 
you know, the law says he does the best he knows, and this is what he, he gives you the advice. Now, he messed up, he messed up. Professionals also mess up. But a non-professional, we can understand, should not mix in here, and if he messes up, he has to pay. But in another place, it says, regardless if he's a professional, not a professional, he's always high. So what do we do with this contradiction? Does a professional pay or not pay? One place it says he's potter, one place it says high. Omer Papa. Kitani woman potter. We go like Shmuel that a professional shaykhid has to pay, so a professional money guy has to pay. But when is he potter? It could go in Danku or two people. Interesting names. Danku and Isser. The Lloyd Srikha and Migmar Klal. Since they are on top of their game, there's no one more professional than Danku. So when they mess up, then anybody in the world can mess up. And therefore, they're potter. They know everything. So if they know everything, it'll be my toe. So where exactly the, the mistake occur? They know everything. They know that this every coin you show them, they're great at it. So how, how do they mess up? It was brand new coins. They weren't, they weren't proficient with the new coin that just came out of the mint. So for that, we'll forgive them. Says Gemara, as Rashi explains, was the uncle of Rav. And Rav worked for him. Rav was the, in charge of his gnazim, of his treasures. So a woman comes to Reb Chia. I guess he was, he was very proficient with money. And she shows him a dinner. Hey, Reb Chia, should, I, should I accept this dinner? What do you say? Omar la mal He looks at it real carefully. Yeah, it's good. It's real. Lamochar asi lekameh omar leich achaste. I took your advice. And I try to pass it on to somebody. And they told me it's a bad coin. But like, and they're not going to, they're not, they're not taking it. So he tells his Shamish, who's Rav, you imagine? Rav, the Galadar, who later became Galadar, he was doing Shimush by his uncle. Zil Khalfe, I want you to give her a brand new coin. I'm paying her for the for the, for the the loss. Zil Khalfe Nahalo, and write down on my notebook, Dane Asik Bish. I, Rebchia, messed up. I did a bad deal. As the Gemara, Omashna Danku Visur Diptiri. We just said, if you're as proficient as Danku, the best of the best, and Isur, then you're Potter. You make a mistake, you're Potter. Because you said, anytime you're on top of the game and you're the biggest professional in that profession, you don't have to pay. Rebchia Nami, Lav Lamigimakabai. Rebchia never had a, he didn't have to study more, he was on top of the game. Says the Gemara, you're right. Rebchia, make your hat din. If you ask the dying, does he have to pay? They will tell you, no, doesn't have to pay. Rebchia, lifnimish rusadunu doavad. It's because he just, he wanted to be yaitza more. Shalom Aleichem, he wanted to be yaitza more than he had to. Lifnimish there's a concept called going above and beyond. Halacha tells you, you don't have to pay. He felt bad for this lady. He went and lifted him and We're going to see this even one more step beyond it. Yatara Rabbi Yosef, Voidato Lohem. So, is there a Gemara for this Sadiq that just came in? Mike, you, you're in charge here of the Gemaras? Oh. Here's, here's the Pasuk. Vizarto Esem. Last week's parasha, right? Yisroi. Yisroi tells Moshe Rabbeinu, Warn Klai Yisrael, Esachukim, the rules, the laws, Vesatoyrois, the Torah. And then it says, Teach them the way. What does that mean, the way? What's the way? What does everybody think? What's the way? Torah. Yeil Chuba, the way they should go, Vesamasa, and the actions they should take, This is Yisrael telling his son in law. So the more directions each word here. Voidata Lohem, Ze, Beis Chayeyem. Voidata lohem, this is your livelihood, says Rashi, top Rashi, first Rashi, Beis Chayim, Talmud Torah. Torah, this is your life. What's your livelihood? What's your life? Torah. Which reminds me of the famous story with Rebar Bear. In Europe, there was a, a kinos for G'dayla Adar, and one of the G'daylam got up, and he started screaming that we have to be more careful with Torah, Torah is our oxygen. The oxygen. He started screaming. Barber got up. And he banged on the table. He said, I'm making a macha. Moicha. I don't know if it was after he finished speaking. I think it was after he finished speaking. He gave him the cover. He said, I'm moicha on what was just said. Torah is not our oxygen. Torah is our life. It's different. It's not you have life and then there's oxygen that sustains life. 
It is the essence of life. That's what he said. Beis chayehim. It's our life. Es haderech. What does derech mean? Zugmilos chasadim. That's chesed. To do chesed with others. Yelchu. Zu bigr chaylum. There's another mitzvah. To go visit the sick. Now we have to understand. Isn't visiting the sick gmilos chesed? What is the difference? I'm doing chesed with the sick. What's the difference? I'm helping an old lady carry groceries up the stairs, or I visit a sick man in bed. Says Rashi, you're right. It's the same thing. But there's another level to bigger chaylum. If a person is his age, ben giloy, you take away a 60th of his disease, right? We know, the 60th. Now that's a whole different level. To go in there and take a disease from somebody, the guy never has a terrible machla, and you're going to take a 60th? Who wants to take a 60th? So that's, a, that's another level. We're not asking you to do, we're asking you to carry groceries, but to take machlas from people? So that, that I need a puzzle. Ba, what I learned from the word ba, zukfura, to bury the dead. Isn't that gemilus chasadim, as Rashi? That's also gemilus chasadim. says Rashi, that there's a concept of a tamot chacham, a zaken. It doesn't pass them. I'm a, I'm a rebbe. I'm going to start burying people now, digging graves. It's not my thing. Yeah, you're also chayef to bury. Everybody's chayef. Asher yasun, ba, zukfura. Es hamasa. What's the maisa? Zadin. Halacha. You got to do what they pass and that's what you do. Oh, and finally, asher yasun. This is negetas. Asher yasun. Zulufnim shrusadin. This is above and beyond. There's something called above and beyond. You don't have to. But Reb felt bad for this uh, woman. He messed up. So he, yeah, you're right. The halacha says there's, there's the letter of the law, and then you can go above and beyond. It's okay to go above and beyond. But Taisa brings very interesting. Six lines down in Taisa, Taisa says there's a story where I forgot exactly who it was. Rabbi Baravuna maybe it was. I think it was that story where he hired two people to carry a big barrel of wine. These shlamazels they carried the barrel of wine. And they hit something and it broke open and all the wine spilled out. What's the halacha? The halacha is if I, if I hire you and you messed up, I don't have to pay you. He paid them. Why? Because there's, there's a new concept. I think a lot of us would do this also. He was wealthy. They were very poor. They worked hard for the money. They messed up. Halachically, you don't have to pay them. Not, they didn't just mess up. They caused them a loss. But there's a pasuk Taisa brings. You should go six lines down. You should go in a good way, in a right way, and that's even above and beyond. The zero. You don't owe this person nothing. Not even above and beyond. It's not above and beyond. It's I don't know you at all. If I care, I should take you to the entire. You owe me a thousand dollars for breaking my barrel of wine. You know what? This guy worked all day. He schwitzed away, and he has no money. Let me give him something. Let me pay him. That's a, that's a different level. I think a lot of us would do that, no? If it happened to us, the guy was poor and he worked. You saw him working. He, yeah, he messed up. You give him a little bit. Give him a, a lot of bit, a little bit, whatever. But remember that you're not just making it up. It's not. There's a passage. Go in good ways. We act even more than above and beyond. Rishlokish achilei dinar le Rebbe Lazar. Rishlokish showed a coin to Rebbe Lazar. Omar malu, it's great. It's a great coin. Omar lei chazida loch kosamichna. So Rishlokish tells Rebbe Lazar, you should know I'm relying on you. So the Rishlokish showed him if he had to say those words, or it automatically becomes chazida loch kosamichna. It's in the Shulchan Aruch. I'm relying on you. You said something. You're the pro. I'm relying on you. I'm going to take this, I'm going to accept the coin from him, and it better work tomorrow when I give it to somebody else, because if it doesn't, I'm coming back to you. If you find that it's a bad coin, I'm going to owe it to you. Okay, so before we go weiter, I just want to point out, two people told this to me, but this one was even better. This is from Zev Roth. Check this out, I'm putting it on the screen. It says like this, in the art scroll, Rav Pam, Raveli, in the art scroll of Pam, 
biography, it says someone was having tsars or palms and sal advised him to put the following words from today's daf, Babakama daf, Kuf, on his wall and internalize the message. You hear this, Michael? The words are, Chazid Aloch Kasamichna. He was telling it to a human being, I'm relying on you. But Rapam said, remember those words, I'm relying on you. Says Zev Rav, I wrote those words down and I put it on top of my computer. And I took the, some people read a story and they go weiter. He read the story and he, he used it. I follow his advice and I have this by my screen where I watch you every day. Okay, we're fine. Chazid Aloch Kasamichna. I hope he's not referring to me. He's referring to the Rebbein Shalom. I rely on you. Hashem, I rely on you. What happens, happens. I'm going. You want it to work? Great. You don't want it to work? Also great. It's a great line. So, he says, what does that mean? You're relying on me. That if the coin is no good, you're going to want me to replace it with a good coin. But Ahud Amris, you Rishlakish said, Rabbi Meir, who the Don Dina de Garmi. Remember the other day we we're talking about Rameir and Garmi and Groma. It means the same thing. It doesn't mean the same thing. Shitas Rashi, Shitas the Shach in Rashi. Does Garmi mean Groma? The point is, did Rabbi Lazar cause a damage here? No. Rabbi Lazar looked at it from the side. He says, Yeah, it looks like a good coin. Did he? tear up the coin? Did he break the coin? Did he toss it into the ocean like we had? No. He said something. And he took his advice and took the coin. What is that? That's called Garmi. That's a grama. It's a cause. I caused the damage. I didn't damage. But who's the one that says that causing a damage your chayiv? That's Remeir. You, Rishlakish, yourself said that it's Remeir. It seems like not everybody holds like that and you yourself don't hold like that. You're saying Remeir holds like that. You don't hold like that. No, 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 no. I do hold. Remeir. I do hold like Remeir. And therefore, I'd have to, you'd have to replace the coin. Now, the Gemara goes into this. In the story of the coin, what happened? I didn't take a coin out of your wallet. I didn't break your coin. I told you something. I said, use that coin. And you took my advice, you used it, and you lost $1,000 because of me. Yeah? And I tell somebody, go invest in that stock. I think it's a great stock. And then it happens all the time. And then you, what, usually, 90% of the time, it tanks. And then, you know, oh, but you told me. Okay. I told you. So what is that called? That's called Grama, Garmi. I messed you up. I gave you the terrible advice. My, my friend, the Chacham, the, the 70-year-old Chacham, who never doesn't know a thing about stocks, he decided it's a great stock, and then, you know, you invest in it, and... It goes into the toilet. Shkoyach. So what is that? That's called Garmi. I told you that it's a good coin. You you relied on me because I'm actually a professional coin person. Rabbi Lazar is a professional. You follow my advice and you lost money. That's Groma. Now who says that Groma is Chayev? Remeir. Where did he say it? This is interesting. Yesterday also. Where did Remeir say it? And we tried to bring like four cases. Uh, three cases. Kuf, lun, kuf Lamed Nun. Like in the middle of the page yesterday. And today... Four cases on a, on a, the, the same name, Rib Mayer, but a different topic. Which Rib Mayer is it that says that if somebody messes up, just by talking, not even using your hands, you're chayv? The snan says, Elaim Rib Mayer, the snan, this Rib Mayer that says, Donis Hadin, a Dayan made a mistake. So a Dayan makes a mistake. You're chayv. The, according to Rameir, it's Chayev. So, oh, if you're Chayev, also, if, the day, if a person says this coin is a good coin, you'd be Chayev. Isn't that the same Rameir? No, it's not the same thing. What's the case? It's not. Don't say din. Zika's a Chayev. Somebody that was Potter said he's Chayev. Chayev is a Zaka. I'm sorry. Zika is a Chayev. The guy was Chayev. He said he's Zaka. He's Potter. Chayev is a Zaka. He said that somebody that was not Chayev money, he said, you are Chayev. Tim is a Tar. He said an animal that's 100% kosher. He said it's Tome, it's Treif. Here's a tome, and he took something that was tar and he made a tome. He made, I'm sorry, he made something that's tome tar. Masha also asui. The dying, we leave the animal as is, it's treif. That guy gets his money. The shalami basically, the dying has to pay from his own pocket. The $2,000 loss pays from his own pocket. Who says this? Rev Mayor. Stam Mishnah, Rev Mayor. So Mela, the same Rev Mayor that says, that a dying that's just with his mouth. He doesn't say anything. 
He says, that animal is treif, and now the guy, instead of making $2,000 profit, he only made $100. But he made him loss, lose $1,900. Says Remeyer, the dying has to pay for 1900 bucks from his pocket. So too, by the coin, I made you lose money because I told you the coin is good. You have to pay. Says Gemara, no, that's not a good raya. We already said, Omer Omer Rav, over there it was a case where he actually damaged with his own hands. He didn't just say it. He wasn't a dying. He said, oh, Tomei, Tar. He made a Tomei, he made a Tar. How? For that, let's see Rashi. Now, I'm hoping that since we're doing this Rashi inside, because we it's a very short Amad, so Hashem is going to give us Schar for the whole Shas. He's going to say, all those Rashis you didn't learn inside, Yeratz and Kilo you learned inside. The reason you didn't learn inside is because we didn't have time. But now that we have time, we're learning inside. Here we go. And we're also going to do this large Taisvis. Nah, I'm messing. No, don't worry. Shana says Rashi, how, do you, how did the dying do this with his hand? The lender had a, a Rolex watch that was equal to the loan. But I just realized something. Somebody told me a very interesting idea. I want to try it out once. He said, a guy, a guy he knows lends money to people. But he says, listen, I'll lend you $1,000. But if Tuesday comes and you don't pay me, your refrigerator that's worth $2,000 becomes mine. I'm not going to ask any questions. I'm coming to your house. I'm taking your refrigerator. And the guy actually collects like that. He has a dining room table, chairs, everything. He says, it's automatic. You don't pay? I'm, I'm not even negotiating with you. I'm coming to your house. I'm taking your dining room chairs away from you. The guy has nice dining room chairs, nice dining room, whatever he needs. He needs a, a closet, a closet. He needs a refrigerator, an oven. A, interesting idea. I don't know if it's how he's got out. Not a, it's an idea. It's something to think about. Better than not lending the guy money. The guy wants money. So he says like this. The guy took a Rolex watch. I, till this day, have maybe three watches, expensive watches, sitting in my drawer, and they make me very upset every time I see them. The people don't want to pick them up. They don't want to pay me back. And I have these watches. I don't know what to do with them. I'm gonna, what am I supposed to sell them now? Maybe they're fakes. That's why they gave them to me. I don't know. <laughs> so the guy has an expensive Rolex watch. Okay, so it's worth $35,000. Comes the dying. The dying comes, grabs the watch out of his hand from the lender, and gives it to the, to the, to the borrower. He says, no, no, you know, he doesn't owe you money. Oops, I made a mistake. He does. Too late. Now, the borrower has the watch. He took, he took it out. He took it be a dime. That's with his own hands. This is Rashi. That's one. Yeah, five lines from the top. What does it mean? He made somebody that's potter chai. He took money out of his wallet. He literally with his own hands. He switched the money. Physically. 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 Because we're trying to say that it wasn't bepe. Bepe is a grama. Okay, it's mamish physical. Give me your wallet. Let me see your wallet. Opens it up. Oh, you have money. Borrow you have money. Here, here, take. And then it turns out it's a mistake. Betim is a tar. Physically. How do I make something tar, Tommy? Says Rashi, not al sheretz be a A guy comes to him and says, Rebbe, this is what happened. We, we, we we're not sure if the mouse touched it, not touched it. Dead mouse. Uh, my kid was playing. Says the Rav, let me show you something. It's Tommy. Here. You see this dead mouse? He picks up a dead sheret and touches it. Don't you dare eat this. Here, it's tummy. Now, even if he had a shayla, it's not even a shayla. Here, I'm, I'm making a tummy. Then it turns out that it wasn't a sheret. It was a joke. It's on, all on video camera that it was just a plastic mouse. And the guy messed up. But he now the Durov went and it was with Tamid dying with his own hand. So he's chayiv. So what do you tell? This is not a right tower sugio where a guy says, "Hey, that coin is a good coin." It wasn't be a dime. There's no hands over here. He's being physical. To show that his halach is halach, so he touched the dead chariots to the fruit. What does it mean? How do you make something that's tomei tar? Impossible, right? Sometimes you can take a kli that's tomei and put it in a mikvah and make it tar. You can take a person, but how do you, Oive, this is a, I hope this is not going on the screen. No, my son is sending me uh, WhatsApps and I see it on my screen and I think Mark said it goes on YouTube also. I hope not. Okay. Okay, Aaron, wherever you are, I'm coming to you after this year. You want me to text him? 
Yeah, tell him. Okay. Uh, he's not going to send it. Trust me, he's one text a year, but it happened during the year. Oh, the Dain takes tome fruit and mixes it with a tr- with a big amount of kosher, of tar fruit. So he's mevaktal the tuma. That's how you do it. Now, Tysus, that's the big Tysus, and we're not going to get into it, but Tysus asks, you know, it'd be mevaktal tuma lechatchila. Very good. That's one of the, he says the different ways you could, this, that. Okay. So we did Rashi inside. He wrote saying, Shabi, Kilo, we did all the Rashi. Says, okay, so we're still looking for a Reb Meir that matches our sugya. Ella. It happened, he did it physically. This is the one that matches our sugi with the with the coin dealer. This now let's boil the other Right? The famous case, we're not gonna show it right now, we'll show it later because it's an omid base. Believe it or not, it's such a short omid and we did it and it's chazara, but okay. You bring your kapata to the dyer and say, Give me a black kapata, I'm going to Tish soon, and he gives you the ugliest red possible. He has to pay him for the wool, for the kapata, the without white. without the white wool. Great. So what's the raya? What's what's the case here? He did it with his hands, right? Says Gemara, some kavod be'daim. It's not a raya to our sugi because over here in our sugi, the guy said it's a great coin. He trusted him and he lost money. Over here, he took his white wool and dipped it in red dye. He did it with his own hands. As Taisvis, I'm just saying the Taisvis because we we'll have a short army there. As Taisvis, what's the Havamina? We just established that the the the, the Dayan took a rat and he touched the pay race. be a Dayan. That's why he's Chayev. So, of course, when it comes to dying, it's the same exact thing. So, what, what's more bringing a, a riot from another case that a guy was physical? When you die a beggar, it's physical. So, Taisvis, yes. But I would think that since it's a very long process of many hours, Perhaps it fits into the groma category. I put the, 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 the clothing in here, and it takes three hours for the dye to sink in. So it didn't happen right away. So I think maybe, okay, fine, one of those. Ela ha There's another remeir. This not. Ha mesakich gefano el gabi tuvuasa shechaveroi ha kiddush v'chayev. So let's see how this works. So first of all, here's a beautiful picture of Klea Kerem. That is a vineyard in the middle of, of a, a field of wheat. This is, this is the rice of the plant grapes in the middle of the field of wheat. Now, check, take a look what happened there. Over here, his grape is by itself, right? This is not Osir, meanwhile. Okay, it's the right distance, whatever the distance is, okay? But look what he did. Take a look. He bent it over the wheat, just bending it over, creating an oil creating a roof over wheat, that itself is an Isidar Raisa, and it ruins of Klai Akerem, and it ruins the wheat below. Okay? If the wheat grew one two hundredth more, very small amount of one two hundredth, the wheat becomes also. So, what's going to be the obvious answer? The guy went, took, physically, again, physical, took it, and, and placed it over the wheat, and he made the wheat also. That's not a grama, that's biadayim. But the Gemara starts off, I'm saying, Kfanishal al Gabi Tvos Shavir, I raise a kiddish. Kiddish means it made it usur, the chayv, and you must pay for the damaged wheat that you can't eat anymore. Says the Gemara, some namikov at biadayim. It's not a grama, it's biadayim. El Horeme, this is what I mean. The Sanya going with the same theme of Klei Aker. Mechitza Saker and Chenipritza, look how beautiful, Reboi Sai. So it goes like this. You have to have four amas between the wheat and the vineyard if there's no wall. Now, the one that has to distance himself, four amas, is the guy that owns the vineyard. The guy that owns the wheat can go all the way up to his borderline. I put the borderline in red. This is a Yoshi depiction, but I just added the red. The red shows that's where the border is. The one that has to keep away from the wheat is the guy that owns the grapes. Okay, now. If there's a, a wall, then there's no need to keep a distance at all. You go up until the, the fence on both sides. You see how the grapes are? All the way to the fence on the left. The wheat is all the way to the fence on the right. That's not clear. But then there's a breach in the fence. 
that breach in the fence causes a big problem. Now the 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 weed and the grapes are, are touching. They're right next to each other. There's no four amas. So the guy has to fix his fence. As long as he makes phone calls and he's and he's going to get the wood and he's busy with it, it doesn't make it awesome. But once the guy gives up, he says, I had enough of this fence. It's too long. I'm not I'm never gonna do it. Da, da, da. He gives up. Once it's Yush, finished. Then he's Chayev. But this is a beautiful case. Why? Because this is not a case of Biodayim. Nothing happened. He didn't do something with his hands. The fence fell down. And by falling down, by him not doing anything, by Shev al by sitting back and relaxing in his recliner, that makes him Chayev. That's a grama. I didn't do anything. I was Goyrim and Nezik to my friend. And Ramey says, Yechayev. Let's see inside. When the vineyard, the fence broke, so the owner of the wheat says, I want you to fix the fence. If it broke down, again, fix it. But if the owner of the vineyard gave up, and he didn't fence it, so he ruined the guy's wheat, and he has to pay. So Mela, here's a case of a guy not doing anything. The fence fell down. He didn't do anything. And he's chayev. So too, when I tell you the coin is a good coin, I didn't do anything, but I caused you a damage. According to the mayor, you are chayev. Turning to Davkuf, Ahmed Bey is sponsored by Greg Haber for the success and the safe return of our chaylim and hostages. And for the schoz of all Klai Yisrael, over here we sit in Miami. I can tell you from personal experience, I'm sitting here in Miami. You don't realize that there's a, a war and that there's a million of millions of Yidin, millions, sitting in Eretz Yisrael, not comfortable. It's a very uncomfortable position. Here in America, we literally don't feel it. We say a little, feel it. Yeah, we see in the news. But there's a war over there. There's a war. And just 25 miles away from my house, Ariel Miles, that, that's where the hostages are sitting, underground. And you hear the bombs every single day. We hear bombs. We hear explosions. Sometimes it's them blowing up the tunnels. Sometimes it's bombs. So you're reminded, and you know people. You see people in the street that their kids are underground, and you hear speed. It's 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 a different life over there. So I'm telling you that we we need to do a little bit more here in America because I don't think anybody knows or pays attention. It's once in a while, once every few days, you you, re- you remember over there. It's a constant. You're in a fear. You don't know if. What's going to happen with Lebanon? All of a sudden, you see on your phone, the red alert, red alert. Today, I, you get the alert. That means that the shooting missiles into Israel, you don't know that any minute this Meshuggah, an Israeli guy, could, could decide to shoot 100,000 missiles that he has that are accurate and this and that. It's, you live in a fear. So we have to learn a little bit more Torah, do a little bit more mitzvahs in their schos. Call coverage. Shimon Hyman's son served now. Really? Still serving right now? They let him out last week. He gave his son back yesterday because he was considered a reservist. But oh, yeah. I had a guy last Shabbos in my house. I, I live with the fear. You live with the fear. All the pe- Right. You see the people, and then, you know, when you're in the base marriage in MDY, I see Robert Early, who lost his son in Gaza, and you, you see his face. And every day you're reminded. And then the soldiers come back, and uh, what's his name? Furman comes in. Bar Furman. And uh, Eli Rosen, who worked for me up until the war. He's there. I haven't seen him. I saw him once since then. And you see all these people that their sons are there, and you hear about it. And kids are. Who? Generally. Uh, generally. Oh, really? Yeah, Hollywood. Uh, also. Really? From Hollywood. Wow. Yeah. Anyways. Four weeks ago in Gaza. This is him. Okay. Beautiful. Wow. Yeah, so Yitzi Bao was by me for Shabbos last Shabbos. Spent all Shabbos. The day he came back from, uh, he was in Jinnin and gave his, also, he, he flew, he was in America working here in Florida, and he flew out there to, nobody asked him to come. He decided to be there for, for the three months, and he gave his gun in, and he did his thing, and he came back. All right, Zokta Mishnah, Hanois and Semer Latzabo. So we're familiar with this, and we, we, we went through a lot of this. Here it is. You give your wool to a dyer. So this is not really the case. So we'll go off this for a second. He burnt it. He put a too too high of a flame. 
the temperature was too high in the pot, destroyed the guy's wool. Nice and light made samurai. So he uh, messed up, so he has to pay for the wool. Reminds me of the story with Rebetzin Kanievsky. She was sick. She had like fever. So she asked Reb Chaim Kanievsky, could you make me a cup of tea? Sure. <laughs> she puts the water on the on the fire and he opens up his gemara and guess what happened? Yeah. Uh, so all of a sudden she starts smelling something really bad from the kitchen. She comes. There's no water left in the pot. You have a burning pot. And that was the last time that she ever asked them to make a cup of tea. <laughs> and Stop the learning. Yeah. <laughs> You're saying he wasn't so fachalim. He was like, if I, no, 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 I hear you. He said, they, they tell Hassanim, when your wife asks you to do dishes, you say, sure, and you break a couple of dishes. <laughs> 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 All right. A nice and similar to Sabah Vigdich He didn't do it right. Nice and light made Samroy. You pay for the wool. Svaikur, if he if he dyed it terribly, really, really bad color. So Rashi says the aleph, it's really a, a lotion of with the ayin, ka'ur, like really bad. Not ur, ur. Mechur, yeah. Ugly. Ima shevach yosr la It's like a riot to Americans. They, they can mess up a little bit in the way you write, spell, say. We get the idea. Even though it sounds like light, it really means ugly. If the wool is worth more than what it costs, let's think about it for a second. Let's just two seconds. How much does it cost to dye a piece of wool? So think about it. There's the fuel that it costs to light up the thing. You have to pay for the pot a little bit. There's wear and tear. There's the dye. Actual dye costs money. And then there's a machlekes in Rushayin. Could he charge like a, a minimum wage? For his time, not a professional wage of a dyer, but the minimum. But there's a little bit. Of, there's a yitzia. There's a cost there. Okay, it costs five dollars of of ingredients and 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 wood for the fire and all that, and the shavach. So let's say he improved this wool. He took a, a white wool and he made it an orange. It was supposed to be black. It turned an orange. Mamish, a terrible color. Now it's worth twenty five dollars more. And it costs him five dollars to do it. Ima the, the the wool is worth more. Yes, more than what it cost him. The guy, the owner of the wool, he could decide what he wants to pay. He could pay the less of the two. No, you say I'll pay the five bucks it costs you to die. I didn't ask you for orange. I asked you for a black kapata. You made orange him. You you're a Ghana, basically. You stole from me in a way in, in a. Halakhli, it's like Gneva. I st- you stole, you did the wrong thing here. I told you this. So, Mela, I'm going to pay you the, the, the less of the two. And what if the cost, it cost him $25 to dye it, but uh, now this piece of ugly wool is only worth five? So, you only give him five bucks. You give him the lesser of the two. Let's buy a layout. I asked you to do a red dress and you made it black. Shachar, I asked you to, to make my suit black. Utsvay Adaim. Here we have uh, the famous, uh, we'll show it, but uh, here. First of all, this, here it is. He has two pots over there. One is red, one is r- black. And uh, wait a second, he said red, right? Yeah, I think he said red. He puts in the wrong the wrong one. Or this famous, by the way, I, I really like this one. So even though we showed it a bunch of times, he made a little bit of a change. I thought we got to take out the scream. But think about all what's going on here. The, 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 the windows are colored, all these. I think it's really cool. With all the, the dye colors. Uh-oh. And then, hold on. This guy shows up. Uh, fine. Just to, to change it around a little bit. But the actual design here, I thought it was very cool. You spent a lot of time on this. Door opening, door closing. Fine. Oh, sorry. So we we had this on Amid Aleph, remember? We brought this as a raya. Maybe this is what Remeir, this is what you meant in Garmi. And we said, no, 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 he did it by hand. It was the wrong color. He only has to pay him for the wool. Why? Because he's a Ghana. I told you to make it black. You decided to make it red on your own. That's your problem. So he pays for the wool and he gets to keep the red frock. 
Yeah, the guy that does the dying gets to keep the red frat. What if the Roshiva says, wait a minute, I want the red frat. I think it's great for Purim. It's unbelievable. I have a red frack on Purim. So what does he do? He has to pay him the full price, is Rashi. If you want it, that's your choice. But now you have to pay for the whole thing as if he dyed it the right color. Maybe the Oimer, Ima Shevach Yosalai Tzio, Noisin Loi Esai Tzio. Again, so read this like we said before. It depends. The, the guy that owns the wool, he decides. If it's worth more money than the expense, then you give the expense. You give the less of the two. But if the expense that it cost him to die, it was more than the improvement of this red frack. I once went to uh, one of those, uh, what do they call those stores that you, you know, you get used clothes and, you know, thrift shop. shop. Yes, yeah, so I was, in, in Chicago, it's very common that you, you take your used clothes and you give it to like this uh, thrift okay. shop that the money goes to like a Jewish cause or whatever. So instead of throwing it out, whatever. So I went there and I was giving them a thing. I happened to find there a table once that I really, I was looking for a round table that holds 12 people. And I couldn't find it anywhere, like even brand new one over there. There it was. There's the table I wanted. Plus it was round and it, oh, I still have it till this day in Chicago. It's round, 100% round, but it, it, it the center and it opens up and it can hold like 25 people. That was cool. Round to, to long. Anyway, so that I saw, I saw like a suit there mamish red like the craziest color so like you know for five ten bucks you buy a suit for purim that's what it is it was like people do that so here it is it's not it costs the to make it is a lot more than what you could sell it for so i'm just gonna pay you for for for, for the not how much it costs you to make because that i can't pay you i don't want to pay you that i'm gonna pay you the improvement of the of that suit says gamar my kuur what does it mean he, he, he painted it kuur. We said it means mechur, disgusting. He did kalbos. He used kalbos. My kalbos. Yeah? The mon is ketzapichis midvash. What's a pichis midvash? Oh, Klai Yisrael went out of the, 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 in the midbar and then I bought to eat. Gishbarchu gave the mon and it was like ketzapichis. But what is tzapichis midvash? Oh, you don't have. They were in Mitzrayim and then this. Yeah, the famous thing. What's Kaur? Kalbus. Okay. Thank you. Now what is Kalbus? Kalbus, my Kalbus. Omar Shmuel. Omar Shmuel. Harfru do they. The leftovers, you know, the bottom of the chunk pot, mamish, the stuff that's stuck to the bottom is not edible. That's what it was. The bottom, the, the dye that's stuck to the bottom, he took his claw, put it in there, he, he rubbed it in there, and he got some color. No, you, you could understand what the, what the claw, it wasn't, it wasn't a good dye job. MMA that's why Sobe Ka'ur, then he has the option of paying him less, paying this, but it's up to the, the guy that owns the wool. Boy say, have a wonderful day, a good Shabbos, Motzi Shabbos, Bezer Hashem, nine o'clock, and a good Chodesh, and Sunday morning, probably in my house, private. Maybe we'll have Michael and Michael. <laughs> Thank you very much. A good job. Thank you for coming.